In this video, I want to look at how Amazon is using artificial intelligence. Amazon is a company that has really reorganized itself and restructured itself to really leverage artificial intelligence in every part of their organization. So we see this now in things like their recommendation engines. And in fact, Amazon recommendations are now driving 35% of total sales. We see this in their Alexa capabilities, their smart speakers. We see this in their warehouses that are now being automated using artificial intelligence and smart, smart robots. So how have they done this? They have approached um, artificial intelligence with their flywheel approach. Flywheel is basically this engineering tool that helps us to conserve energy and keep the momentum. So if you think about a potter's wheel, for example, that we press and then it actually keeps spinning nicely all the time and every time we then add a little bit of energy. And their approach is basically that artificial intel intelligence has to it's a momentum that has to be kept up. So the entire organization is humming with artificial intelligence, where it can also spread from one part to the other. So in the, in the engine, the flywheel keeps different parts of the engine going, so you don't have to switch it on and off. And again, in Amazon, what they're saying is that innovations that take place in one team or in one part of the organization has to be transferred to others where others can learn from this. So AI is absolutely fundamental for everything they do. And it's not located just in one office where one part of the organization is in charge of AI, but it's completely uh, dispersed into the organization. Really important in order to use AI is to have data available, right? Because we use AI to train our machine learning algorithms. And what Jeff Bezos, the CEO of, of Amazon, made very clear back in 2002 is that they wanted to make sure data is not kept by someone and data has to be shared across the organization. So this imperative to share data and create uh, APIs that basically connect your data sets to other data sets in the organization and make, make sure that it can be externalized from the ground up. And basically in his email to all employees, he said that if you don't do this, you will get fired. So there's no back doors, there's no hiding of information and data. We need to make sure we feed this into the organization. And another Amazon approach is an obsession with customers. So what they're now doing is they're starting with this customer obsession saying, we want to deliver an amazing experience. And then we want to leverage AI to make this an amazing experience for everyone. So it's, I talked already about the recommendation engines and the one-click buying process and the automated warehouses. One thing that demonstrates this very well is how they have reinvented physical shopping experiences in their Amazon Go stores. So what they said is, as a customer, what you want to do when you go shopping is you want to walk into the store, put the thing straight into your shopping bag and then walk out and then somehow get charged for this. This would be ideal. This is about someone that would think about this that is really obsessed with customers. And Amazon then said, okay, how can we use technology like AI? So they introduced machine vision that recognizes someone's face, that then also monitors using artificial intelligence and machine learning, what you have taken off the shelf to put straight into your shopping bag. And because you are, they recognize that you are a registered user, they have your credit card details, so you simply fill your bag and you walk out. And this for me is applying artificial intelligence well. And this is what Amazon has been doing really well with their flywheel approach, their customer obsession, and the data sharing that enables that they can use AI in every part of their organization.